Welcome back. You're watching Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. Well, the cut on HJX Nifty has narrowed a tad bit to 82 points versus 100 points that were showing at the start. But a lot of weakness still in the Asian market. But remember yesterday, the big cue was that the RBI in its December meet left the key policy rates unchanged in a unanimous decision. The stance also remains at calibrated tightening with five members supporting it and only Mr. Dhulakya voting for a change in stance to neutral. Remember, the central bank also handed a sharp cut to its inflation forecast and laid down a path to reduce the statutory liquidity ratio, or SLR, to 18% with consecutive cuts of 25 basis points every quarter starting January. Now, the government, more importantly, also hinted at a future easing. And he said, and I quote, if the upside risks we have flagged do not materialize or are muted in the impact on the incoming data, there is a possibility of space opening up for commensurate policy actions by the MPC. End of quote. All right, and to get more perspective on the RBI policy and the stance of the central bank, Shireen and Lata caught up with econ economists Arvind Birmani and Surjit Bhalla and began by asking about the MPC's stance and if there is a cut likely soon. Listen in. Our Shadow Monetary uh, Policy Committee had recommended uh, a lowering of the uh, uh, repo rate by uh, about 25 basis points and the whole uh, inflation scenario which is being outlined uh, supports uh, that view. I mean if you take the 3 percent uh, projection that means the repo rate is now at 3.5 percent. Uh, that's a huge positive mm. uh, real interest rate and that has n negative implications for the entire economy. The second thing we had said was mm. uh, that uh, uh, they, they should, there, there is a need for liquidity uh, measures and w one of the issues which had come up uh, was open market operation but the SLR was also mentioned. So some action has been taken on that yeah. but I think uh, more needs to be uh, taken and we are talking about general liquidity not liquidity specific mm. uh, to particular sectors. And the third point just to, uh, uh, was uh, that uh, to the specific question of what would actually happen, uh, I had said that 50-50 chance of, the, uh, of moving to a, not moving uh, the stance uh, and moving to a, a neutral stance. So uh, the, the last point which the governor made about, uh, you know, if, if the upside risk doesn't materialize could be seen uh, as a kind of move yeah. to neutral, so that 50-50 has also kind of mm. come true. All right, so you uh, seem to have aligned yourself to what we've heard from the RBI governor today and the MPC. But, Surjit Bhalla, uh, I would imagine that you're patting yourself on the back, especially when it comes to inflation. Your big grasp with the Reserve Bank has always been that they've gotten it horribly wrong as far as inflation is concerned. Given uh, the sharp cut that we've seen on inflation, does this now give you some sense that uh, uh, we're, you're on the same page or they're on the same page as you are? <clears throat> no, it gives me a lot of uh, comfort that uh, they're on the same page as reality. Um, and uh, I happen to have been there uh, at least for the last two, three years. Um, what, but, you know, what is intriguing about this and, you know, your channel, everybody, uh, is that this is a pause. Um, then the other thing I've heard that uh, we are still sticking to calibrated tightening and that the inflation forecast mm -hmm. has been cut by 1%, uh, one percentage point, sorry, mm. and that, as Arvind just pointed out, that implies a real rate of something like three and a half. Now, can you please tell me as to what sense does it make for anybody, let alone the RBI, uh, to mm. say that we are in a calibrated tightening phase and we are having the highest policy rates in the world, the real, highest real policy rates in the world. Overall inflation, excluding uh, oil, um, has been very well behaved and they haven't included, yet excluded oil from the, so if they say, let us say, you know what has happened? We have had oil prices at 85, right, just a month ago. And what was the overall CPI? Less than 4%. So I don't understand. So either it is a very limited core, which is what the RBI is targeting, then they should come out right and say it, that we are targeting a, our version of core, 
which includes petrol, which inc incidentally is, there's no other central bank in the world which has its core CPI including petrol. So they have to come out and be clear as to what their targets are. So uh, volatility absolutely has been there. Why did they lower their forecast? They also know that there's volatility in oil uh, uh, of an extraordinary amount. I fully agree. Then why did they uh, cut the inflation forecast by 100 basis points? Okay, so that's what experts had to say regarding the RBI monetary policy meet, but we're not done discussing the RBI meet just yet because RBI mandates linking of loan rates to an external benchmark as well. We tell you what this means for banks and consumers when we return from the short break.